Hey everybody, Austin Siragusa from Moose TV here, joined by Manitoba Moose defenseman Jimmy Olney, fresh off a, a brand new contract for the upcoming season. Jimmy, uh, thanks for taking the time here today. First off, congratulations on signing that contract. Just how did that come about and how excited are you to be joining the team for another season here? Uh, I'm super excited. Um, as uh, many person know, uh, I've been here for a while and uh, uh, my family is used to the used to Winnipeg and uh, it's like a second second home for us, and uh, it was just the perfect perfect scenario for me to to come back, and even even more for for two years like that. It's uh, even better, so we're su we're super super excited. So yeah, it was your third season with the team, like you said. But you know, as we were talking before we started the interview here, it was a season. You know, it's cliche, but it was a season unlike any other with all the COVID nineteen yeah. restrictions, no fans in the building. So, but what are some of the positives you took away from that third season with the team? I'm sure there were quite a few. Oh yeah, um, it was. You know, it it was weird last year. Like we didn't have as many older guys, and we kind of like the older guys in the team. We had um, uh, some uh responsibilities that we, we didn't have before and uh it was it was a weird year but um we we i think we all learned a lot from it uh especially with with having like nobody around just like us playing the game and stuff no fans and mm -hmm. you know we it, it it made us think that we we always uh take everything for granted and uh uh it, it was weird and but uh, we're all looking forward to a new season uh, hopefully it's going to be the, the same as it was before and we're all going to get excited again yeah and it's looking again like this upcoming season like it'll be another bit of a younger blue line for the moose this season <laughs> so it, it, is, is it another opportunity for you to just showcase that leadership that you've been uh, displaying these past few seasons and sort of get some of those younger guys uh, integrated into the pro game just uh, how excited are you for another chance at that as well Oh, I'm, uh, I'm very excited with that too. Like, uh, I, I always like, like seeing the new kids come, come, uh, from juniors and, uh, even those, uh, from, um, uh, university and stuff. Uh, it's always fun to see them come in and then, you know, like being fresh, fresh off the, you know, uh, having every, everything, like they live at somebody's place and they have their, 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 uh, their meal cooked for them and all that. And then they add, they come, they come uh, to the moose and they have to do all that by themselves. And uh, it's just fun to help them and just see them grow a little bit during the year. And uh, I'm looking forward to that for sure. One of the changes, of course, though, this season, Jimmy, is uh, the head coach, right? Mark Morrison's going to yeah. be taking over coaching duties this season after uh, your entire Moose career with Pascal Vincent. Have you had a chance to, to chat with Mark at all uh, ahead of training camp? And just how excited are you to, to work with him as well uh, this upcoming season? Actually, <laughs> he tried to call me just two minutes before we started this interview, but I, I couldn't really answer, but I'll, I'll call him right after. Um, uh, I'm excited for, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be a change for sure for everybody, but uh, I think it's, it's, uh, I'm super happy for uh, Pazzy that got a, an opportunity with uh, uh, the Blue Jackets there. And um, uh, I wish him nothing but the best. And, uh, but we're, we also have to look forward. And uh, um, I talked with a, a guy that played for him and uh, he said he was awesome. So I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to play for Mark for sure. And then what's uh, what's sort of the big goals for you heading into training camp? You know, there's still a bit of off season left, still a bit of training you can be doing. So um, what's the rest of the summer look like for you? And just what are your goals heading into training camp uh, this fall? Uh, I mean, for me, as I'm getting older and stuff, it's to, to be in the best possible shape to, to get into camp. And uh, also, uh, you know, when, when you get older like that, like there's always new kids coming around and uh, they're, they're getting better and better. So uh, you always got to uh, work on some stuff that uh, uh, some stuff that you're not good at and uh, try to try to stay good at, at a good level and uh, just not be there. Uh, you know, like sometimes you see guys that are not that good, but they're just there to, you know, be a veteran and stuff. But you want to you want to uh, be a, a good veteran, a good leader, but you also want to be able to bring something to the table when it comes to the games and, uh, you know, have some uh, responsibilities on the ice and stuff like that. Jimmy, thanks again for the time. Congrats on the contract and we'll see you at training camp soon. Thank you very much.